Um, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is gonna be my first video here. Um, first of all, um, I'm sorry for my accent. I'm French and I know sometimes I have to take a little time to find the right words to say uh, in order to speak English and uh, to be understood by everyone. So today I'm going to show you my whole process uh, for using Midjourney into, uh, for packaging design. So first of all, I wanted to go through my uh, portfolio where I made, um, where I uh, will show you some examples. So if it will show up, uh, I can also go right to the images I already have, so you can see what we're gonna go, uh, what we're gonna end up with. So uh, to see the world packaging, the final results. Well, here is one example. Uh, of something I made. I was really inspired by Midjourney, so uh, uh, let me just pick the right images. So here we are. And uh, these are some examples you can get. Um, I know sometimes when you have to design a packaging, it's a little hard to um, find inspiration and uh, you have to look at what others did. Uh, you don't always have the right ideas. So I think Midjourney and artificial intelligence can really help uh, get there. For instance, you can see um, the product here on the right uh, was actually made by using this pattern. And this pattern, I got it from uh, Midjourney. I really did nothing else than uh, using it and uh, then going into Illustrator and using it as a pattern. So uh, you have to combine, of course, uh, artificial intelligence with other tools like Photoshop and Illustrator. But uh, yeah, for uh, the one below, you can see that uh, I just took this pattern made on Midjourney and uh, used it as a pattern here in Illustrator. Um, so first of all, we're going through the results I made on uh, Midjourney and then I will show you how I got those results. Um, so here are some, um, oops, sorry, let me go back. Um, here are some results you will get on, you will get in Midjourney. So uh, first of all, you get these first results, which are the non-upscaled versions. And then uh, when you scale this up, you really can get to some packaging that you can find interesting. And this one is actually the one I used to inspire, to inspire uh, that one. You can look at it, it's very similar here. I added some little birds and of, of course the typography here isn't right. So the text needs to be changed. But you can really um, find inspiration and of course some details as those ones won't be present. You have to make them themselves, uh, yourself, but you can get there. Uh, some other insane uh, packagings I found were uh, those ones. They were like really inspiring. Look at those colors, they're just insane. So I'm gonna show you how I went there, uh, how I got those results in Mitroni and uh, how you can use them to uh, get some packaging design inspiration for your products. So, first of all, we have to create an account in Midjourney. I hope you already know how to do this. There are a lot of videos on you how to use the parameters of Midjourney uh, on YouTube. Uh, maybe, I will, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I will provide a link in the description uh, on my personal uh, with my personal advice, which will be free and open to everyone. So to get results, uh, I use the Promptmania Prompt Builder. So go to promptmania.com, go to Prompt Builder, choose Mid Journey, and then you can start from here. There are there will be a lot of details that you can make your prompt with. Uh, the first thing you can see here is I looked for T packaging because that's the most important thing I wanted here. So. I just typed T packaging and uh, then uh, to set a value here, uh, this will be the importance of this prompt compared to other. So I set it to three to make it, well, three times as important as other prompts. Of course, you can use an image prompt if you go on the internet and uh, look for T packaging if something already inspires you. I'm gonna show up that mockup. Uh, by the way, you can also use Midjourney to make mockups. This will be in another video, but if you like uh, look across and you see like, oh, uh, well, I'm in this kind of packaging, you can just copy the image address and paste it here in the URL, sorry, uh, in the URL part. 
uh, but I'm gonna leave it that for uh, another video maybe and uh, then here if you want to be more specific uh, you can add prompts so what will be easier uh, well what I often do is to get rid of the background uh, you can try to go with white background what I did here so this can make it easier to take elements out and to select them out uh, with Photoshop selection tools. Uh, other things I tried was to get a front view if you want to use uh, things as they are. Uh, here's the pattern I made the other day. I made on the other one. You can see um, here also. You can see we can get some front of a, from front side view of the packaging with a white background. So I highly encourage you use white background or back background or black sorry background to just delight uh, those um, the backgrounds that made it easier to select things. Also, what what's very interesting is that here you have those boxes like this one below. Well, you can use those as mockups. Like the background is great. Here we have a cup. Um, I think that's boiler, um, and you can just throw your design on it uh, while convert by converting smart objects you know um, those results also were just insane for inspiration you can get those colors and uh, you know you can also use it to you know find the color palette you want uh, I don't uh, encourage you to use things as they are because this isn't viable you have to go through Illustrator and uh, open up a file uh, I will go through it quickly packaging for instance we can go through um, well this one for instance we're just gonna ignore that up and uh, here you can see one of the packagings uh, I made so this was inspired uh, but then I have to go to the process myself here I didn't use Journey results as they were they just led me to inspiration uh, and I used the leaves uh, but I didn't actually use anything straight as it went from my journey uh, well the, so it was with you know this kind of packaging just gave me inspiration but of course you can use uh, I used the pen tool for instance here to get this uh, these leaves and the branch uh, in uh, Illustrator, then I uh, change it a little, but really helps with finding some ideas. So in the mid only prompt parameters uh, generator, you will go to landscape, which will be most useful here. Then you can go to uh, the more details, and here really uh, I will show you what's the most, what are the most important things for me. First of all, the art medium. Um, if you're going for a drowning style which I did with uh, some doodle for instance well we go for we'll, we'll go for an example so first of all you have to choose um, an art medium uh, I mainly go for with drawing or paint for packaging you can also go with prints if you were into that style but it doesn't give you the same results I will say so then you can go up to camera uh, here there's not really a lot to say about it but because we are not uh, making a real scene, so I will skip this. But colors, this is very important to choose the chromatic colors you want. Um, we're going for some tea packaging, so I want something cool and color palette that goes well with Doodle. When you choose one of the prompts, it will be uh, a side, um, it will be put uh, above. And here, uh, again, you can choose um, the weight you want to put in. So higher the weight the more important it will become as part of the prompt I always suggest you first start with uh, the main prompt which in this case is main T packaging and then you go to the other ones so we choose we chose a chromatic palette uh, you can also go of course for others uh, what's important here is also high contrast because you want to be able maybe to get some elements out of it uh, dimensionality well here if you want for something you want to use straight you can go for 2d uh, if you want the whole packaging idea you can go for 3d so 3d will give you uh, more results like this one and 2d more towards those one you know so something flat that you maybe can use uh, straightly um, here I, I won't choose any one of them uh, display gives you of course resolution here I don't really care about that 
Uh, other things maybe, um, no, that's it here. Geometry, not really looking into that. Uh, concepts also really helps. You know, I want something refreshing. Uh, really, this helps with, you don't always have to look at the results you get, but the words and how they affect the image. Like, how will this help? Like, for instance, Feng Shui adds some red and makes the clouds very soft, the mountains is very rounded. Maybe you're looking for that style, well, let's go for it. As well, uh, Array, well, has a lot of grain and a lot of slimes in it, which makes it less soft. Uh, which wouldn't be the best for some tea. Um, lightning is lighting is always important also. So, uh, as I said, I want to go with something soft. Um, maybe bright. Maybe bright will be go well. But you can see that here on this uh, plant builder, you have a lot of options. I really recommend them. Uh, material also helps. Uh, well, in this case, not really. But uh, you can have a lot of um, you know features as lighting for uh, your uh, compositions, which I will show in another video. Uh, then you have post processing. Um, if you want something really realistic, I uh, suggest you go with ray tracing reflections, and uh, as well as with camera, you can go with um, ray tracing. I don't know where that was, but I know they have a ray trace a ray tracer. Uh, parameter somewhere, but ray yes, here it is. Ray trace really uh, makes things uh, ultra realistic, but that's not the style we are going for. Uh, what also really helps, uh, Advance hasn't a lot of things, but maybe I will go like nah. Uh, this one can sometimes help uh, if you're going so for something flat like a logo. You can also type in the style of a logo. Uh, but what also really helps is to mimic the style of an artist. So, um, of course, if the artist you're looking for isn't mentioned here, you can also go away and tap in the style of, well, the artist uh, you want a reference of. Uh, for now, I will leave it without any artist because I want maybe something that's unique. Uh, Mid-journey parameters work for version 3, but currently I am with version 4, so I won't use it here. Once you have your prompt, you can just copy it, go to Mid-journey, and let's go. And send it. Oh, you have to first type imagine, copy the prompt. Uh, they have some, you know, some defaults here, but there we go. And then you just type in. Oh, by the way, some uh, something else. I recently learned about Surreal Fantasy Abstract in infographic style without text. Maximum texture gives you insane results like those, which you can then use furthermore. Um, so here we will wait for the designs to upload. Uh, while I will show you maybe some work uh, that I had. Yes, so previously, before I used Midjourney, I used to. Uh, work like this so make things entirely in a uh, whoopla sorry uh to make things entirely in mid journey uh without mid journey so uh, this is something i came up with without it so it's really uh, basic uh, there's not much creativity going on while with mid journey you're really pushing things forward and uh, getting those insane results uh so here we are and you can see we get some similar results. I'm going to open it um, in, a, in a new window. And uh, there you have some amazing colors. I really like this one, which is really soft. Those one also. Uh, of course, I didn't select material, but uh, so you can see here we will probably have a metallic box, while this will be more uh, paper craft. Uh, so you can also go to uh, your materials and say you wanna you want something uh, well wooden paper, you know, and uh, you will choose something from here like uh, paper, paper board, uh, craft paper to get something that's more looking like uh, a packaging if you were going for the paper craft. Uh, so what's the next step is we really go into Photoshop and uh, of course make a mock-up for your design uh, to show it uh, which will make it way more professional 
and uh, I think this will sum it up for the video. So I highly recommend that uh, you check out the Plant Mania Builder. And once you're satisfied with one of the image images, uh, you can of course upscale it or go for variations. And this will give you uh, really inspiration and ideas to come up with. Uh, also insane chromatic palettes. I think this will be it for uh, this video. Maybe I will do a um, more detailed video, which will last a little longer to show the entire process. Um, so thank you for watching and uh, see you later.